In our last video, we covered Vanilla Mate Desktop with Fedora. And in this video, we will look at a different approach to the Mate Desktop, which is also highlighted with the Linux Mint. I am now in Linux Mint Mate Edition. And if you notice, it doesn't resemble at all the Mate Desktop. First off, there is no panel on the top. There is no one on the bottom. Of course, the top, it has a menu and down you have also the workspaces i don't see any workspaces i don't see any show desktop here i don't see the classical menu all i have is this linux mint which is all mint nothing else and if you open the menu you will have a completely changed menu this menu is not available in mate it is called a mint menu it is an advanced menu they did it for Mate desktop and you, it is placed in this Mate panel. So if you notice, all the feel for Mate desktop is removed. You will see Linux Mint. There is no green for the Mate desktop. And also if you notice here, these are also what you will see in Linux Mint Cinnamon or Linux Mint XFCE, the same icons the same everything in this video we will cover only some of the differences because we in fedora mate desktop we covered a lot of things about the distribution here only we will cover what is the relationship of mate with this theme okay so let us start first with the panel this mate panel we talked about this mint menu it is a customized menu from linux mint there is the show desktop there is the browser, which is the Kaja file browser, the Mate terminal, Firefox. Here we have the volume. Here, all these four is a plugin or an applet, a panel applet. We will talk about it. And here also is the clock. And if you remember the clock, if you press it, you will get the calendar. If you right click, you will go also go to the preferences. You can pick the location. I picked New York for the weather. I pick close and you will have the weather and the clock. If we look, if we want to look at the panel docs, we can have all of these are included with the stock one. I tried fish here. And if you notice the fish here, if I click it, unable to locate the command to execute. So they did not have the Fortuna Fortune command. This is not installed in Linux Mint. So they did a mistake and did not cover this one in their repository. So here, if you want to install Mate Desktop, they should have installed Fortune so that you will have the code. So it is not available. But if you want, you can put another one here. There is uh, these things are some of them they are included by Linux Mint indicator applet app menu but most of them they are the same this is the x app status applet that is the applet that is here let's say if I add it you will notice it is available here let us see how we can remove it move it we move it here so that's for the panel. Let us look for the appearance or the preferences. If you notice here the preferences, it is a little bit annoying to get all the things for Mate from here. Because if you remember, let me add the panel and show you. This is the classic menu. And in the classic menu, you will directly go to the preferences and you'll have all the information. So this one is much better if you want to navigate, especially for Mate, because you will know where to look for the things. So if we look uh, here, there is nothing much to talk about. For the appearance, it is the same, but of course they included all the Linux, Mint, if you want the Mint, Mint Green, if you want Mint Y Dark, you can use this one. And of course, the background, you can change the background. If you notice here, the background, there is nothing concerning Mate desktop. 
no reference for multi desktop if you want let us pick this one okay for the fonts they are using ubuntu regular and monospace regular and for the interface this is the interface that they are using so there's nothing much in the appearance there is the compass so they included the same thing that they did with fedora they added the compass setting manager let me open it and in the compass setting manager you can change many things i put only the wobbly windows in fedora in the last video now i will i added the annotate and the splash and in the annotate these are the things you know if we want to annotate and for the splash i initiate splash splash as control one and i put two images the first image is the linux mint logo and the second one is my logo and this is the appearance so these are basically the things that i added for the compass to show you also again how we can get a good feeling with from the compass so let us close it we'll go also to there is the welcome screen windows screensaver and if you notice here the preferred application and the startup application i already spoke about i just want to give you a quick look about linux mint and here the important one is the desktop settings in ubuntu mate it is called mate tweak here they uh, uh, called it desktop settings and if you notice also in Fedora, they have an icon which is Compass, Compass Fusion icon where you can change between window managers. So here the desktop, you can add, I added computer and the home. You can add the network or the trash if you want. For the windows, and here the important thing, there is the window manager, it is Marco. Without anything. And these are the Marco settings. If you notice here, there is Marco plus compositing. There is Marco plus Compton. MetaCity also they have. They have MetaCity plus compositing, MetaCity plus Compton and Compass. MetaCity is the default ones that uh, already have from GNOME 2. Marco is the new one, which is available in Ubuntu Mate now. And Compass is the one that also they took from Fedora in order to have like in everything mate with all the features that you need the main thing between fedora is that if you if you want to change let's say i want to change from marco to compass let's say it doesn't change why because there is no wobbly windows so you need to log out and log in again in order to get back in fedora it is very simple directly when you change window managers it will change if you want if you don't want to log out you can directly from the terminal you can go compass dash dash replace and directly you are and directly you are in compass if you notice here the splash screen it is already available here and here the windows are like this you can go if you want as a cube oh. i don't know in virtual box how how it will behave but if you notice the it is very smooth on the recording i don't know if it will be that smooth we talked about the splashing now let us talk about the annotate if you remember here there is annotate and for annotate if you want to initiate free draw you write you go alt super button one alt super button two so if i press alt super button one which is the mouse you can draw here alt super button two alt super the middle mouse you can go with a line alt super shift alt super 
button one you will go a rectangle uh, if you middle click you will get the square and the ellipse if you want to clear everything you go control alt super button control alt super button one so you cleared everything this is for fun it is very nice if you want there's plenty of things in compass you can explore not only the wobbly feeling that is available but also the annotate and we'll talk about also the flash let me talk about the splash so here in the splash you have to have an image a background image which i told you i put the linux mint file png and the log file is this one and there is one how to initiate the splash i press control one so if i press control one you will have this nice splash compass according to linux mint they say that compass is less reliable but according to me i did not see any problems but maybe for if you have excessive use you will have some less reliability but they included it and it's a good addition it's a good addition if you want to look at some statistics let us go for free it is using 747 on a cold on a cold boot it will be around 500 to 550 which is great it's, it's much less than linux mint xfce another thing we need to know what is the kernel they are using they are using the kernel 5.15 which is also the long-term release for 22.04 and the last thing we will see is how much you are they are using space and if you notice Linux Mint uses 8.91 gigabyte as for Fedora it used 4 gigabyte and 4 gigabyte covers also LibreOffice and Thunderbird so that's basically it it is a short one which covers one of the basic things about linux mint it kind of made a makeover of mate you will not feel that you are working in mate except for some of the settings but it is nice and and for me it is the lightest linux mint that you can have because you have everything from linux mint but but with a lighter desktop which only consists of mainly of the panel and some of the applets here and you'll have a much lighter experience especially if you only use the marco window manager or maybe if you want you can use open box or you can use uh, any other light window manager that's it for now and we'll see you in another video